everyone and welcome back to Liz Sews. Today I have another bra builder spotlight video for you and this is April's kit of the month which is called Singing in the Rain. So this kit features a stretch lace as well as a new limited edition color called Rain. Let's take a look at the lace first. So the lace is about six and a half inches wide and it's a monochromatic in color. This is a stretch lace and it has a pretty decent amount of recovery so it will be able to be used in underwear as well as your bras. Uh, I like this because it has a lot of different like dimensions that aren't really picking up great on camera but you have some sections here that are like more shiny than the flowers themselves which are more matte um, so you do get some dimension to it. Now in terms of color, it's pretty interesting because sometimes I look at it and I think it's blue and then sometimes I look at it and I think it's purple. So it's one of those like in between sort of periwinkle colors that it's really hard to gauge exactly where it sits on that color spectrum. But it definitely evokes that sort of like gray, um, rainy sky that we see all so often in April. So in addition to these stretch lace, your kit will come with your choice of stable fabric. So the two fabrics here I have to show are the Micro Duoplex. Uh, the Micro Duoplex is a 100% nylon. It's really, really soft, but it's kind of a struggle to sew. So it's definitely not a fabric I would recommend if you're first starting out in bra making just because it can be a little nerve wracking um, sewing it up. So right now I've been noticing that it sews up a lot easier on my FAF Passport machine. So I'll sew the rest of my bra on my Bernina and then when I get to the micro duoplex portion I sew it on the passport instead because it seems to be be handling it a little bit better. I do use a Microtex needle in the 7014 I believe and then um, a smoother thread like the Superior Sew Fine thread. So that's the micro duoplex. And then this is the sheer cup lining. This is probably my preferred material for putting in bras, but to each his own. Uh, sheer cup lining, as the name implies, is pretty sheer. Uh, this one is 100% nylon as well and dyed to match to the kit in that lovely rain color. So the last material I have to show here is power net and I use the medium weight power net in my bras but if you are a larger cup size I would say go to the heavyweight power net. This one has a lot of stretch and of course it's dyed to match in that rain color as well. So then we can take a look at the elastics. I have a whole bunch to show you. Um, so strapping elastic in the example that I'm going to show later on in the video I've used a half inch strap but she also has the strapping available in the five three quarters. Five eighths? Let's see what it is. So it looks like three quarters in a, of an inch strapping. So if you like wider straps, make sure to get that. Um, the kits themselves standard don't come with strapping. So if you do want strapping, you need to add it on as an extra um, addition. I wanna say it's about a dollar to add it on to the kits. Uh, we have Pico Elastic. So five eighths of an inch Pico Elastic. This is being used on the bottom band and then three eighths of an inch Pico Elastic, which I use on the underarm section of the bra. Uh, you get some underwire channeling, dyed to match, and a hook and eye closure. So on the bra that I'm gonna show you later, I have a two high, this one's a three high. You could also go a little bit taller if you wanted to make a more long line version. She has the hook and eye tape available so you can just choose whatever you like to make the bra that you're inspired to make so that's one thing that i love about our kits is just that like they're really customizable to exactly what it is that you want and then uh, of course you're going to have some twill tape in there for stabilization i tend to not use mine very much if you select in your kit that you want to add on the additional strapping el elastic, then it will also come with corresponding rings and sliders that match the width of the elastic you have chosen. So as I had said, this is a limited edition color called Rain, but I wanted to bring up a color that's pretty standard in her repertoire just so you can get a comparison of it. And this is Pewter. And you can see how Pewter is a similar color tone. So Pewter is sort of this light bluey gray, but it is definitely a lot lighter than Rain is. She also has Storm, which is a much darker gray, uh, more truer gray. I don't have anything dyed in Storm in my stash right now, so I can do a comparison, but I can tell you that Storm is darker than Rain is. So now that we've taken a look at all of the materials, it's the fun part of this for me, and that is showing you what I've made up with this kit. 
So I forgot to mention because I didn't have another extra one left in my leftovers, but she is offering this little crystal that goes along with the kits, um, which is absolutely beautiful. And it's supposed to look like a little bit of raindrop on there. I think it's really pretty. Uh, it has that sort of Aurora Borealis finish to it where it, it, it shines in a couple of different colors, but it's, it's just stunning. It's really, really pretty. So I don't know if she has a ton of these. So if you're really interested in getting this little crystal add on, make sure you, you order quickly because that's something that she might run out of before she runs out of the kit. So for my bra, I've chosen to use, um, a pattern called the Chelsea bra from Elise pattern company. And I'll link it down in the description box below. The reason that I chose that pattern to make up this singing in the rain kit is because the bottom of the cut piece just reminded me of an umbrella, the way it has those four um, fanned cut pieces out. I thought it, it looked like an upside down umbrella and I thought that was a cute little like nod to the name of the kit of Singing in the Rain. So I've done the lower cut piece here in micro duoplex and it's just a single layer of it. The micro duoplex is really strong and sturdy so I don't have to worry about lining it at all because um, it definitely has enough support for my bust. Uh, so no lining at all. I've just left the seam allowances sort of top stitch down but I haven't lined it um, if the the seam allowances sort of bother you you can always line this as well um, so micro duoplex in the bottom and then I've just done lace around the frame and the upper cut piece and this pattern the Chelsea pattern is designed to have the the scallop edge of the lace continuing on the bottom just along the front band so I've gone ahead and take advantage of that I added a little bit extra piece of lace just along my back band piece um, between my hook and eye closure and my strap I was just you know playing around with the scraps that I had left over and so you can see when it is fastened up in the back how that gives you that nice little extra detail in the back whereas normally you wouldn't see any of the lace at all from that vantage point so I just thought it was a little fun extra thing I could add in on there so that is the singing in the rain bra, which I thought looked really cool. And then to go along with it, I've made a pair of cheeky panties and this is the so so easy cheeky panty pattern so this pattern is really fun because you don't actually need any elastics for it it sews up incredibly quickly so the scallop edge finishes along the waistline as well as the leg hole edges and it gives you something that i think looks really close to a ready to wear sort of like uh victoria's secret style cheeky boy short panty like it's it's a really fun pattern so I, it's it's amazing that it's free and it's it as i said something that shows up really really quickly so i cut out a size medium which is about a 40 inch hip uh, and i used about a yard and a half of lace to complete it so um, it's just two pieces of lace that are then sewn in the center front and the center back and then connected again um, in the gusset so i have not put any lining in my gusset here i think ideally you would want to put a piece of cotton in there just to make it a little bit more sanitary and maybe these having so that these wouldn't be rubbing against your skin but you would just place a you know a piece of cotton i think i believe there is a pattern piece for the gusset if you want to include that in there um so you just apply the the cotton gusset in there and just sew around the edges of it to sort of conceal all of these seams that are in the bottom of the gusset piece. But I thought it was a nice, fun, quick, little easy panty to pair with the bra. I think these look great together and they definitely remind me of April. And then the last thing that I want to show you is not part of the singing in the rain kit, but I thought it was thematically linked. Uh, and this is a panty only kit that she's going to be providing this month called April showers. Um, so I thought it was really, really cute. I love this print on the bamboo of the little like eyeball peeking out of the orange umbrella. I think it's really, really cute. She's paired this with poppy dyed findings. So I've used a wide band elastic just around the waist to sort of like reinforce that idea of this being like a boy shorts type pattern. Um, I've used the rosy lady shorts from Cloth Habit. This is another free pattern. Uh, again, I'm just looking for some different patterns to sort of add to my repertoire. On this guy, I tried to get a little bit fancy with the leg hole edges. So I have actually bound the not bound, but I did some bands, some folded bands of the bamboo print along the bottom. And then I've sort of 
sandwiched in her fancy pico elastic in between the panties themselves and the the bottom bands and it sort of like adds that little extra bit of trim in there so I just thought it was something that I could add it it um, firms up the leg hole a little bit because the elastic is a firmer um, has more recovery than the bamboo itself so a, a lot of times when I do like bamboo only without elastic I find that it can get like bagged out over the day but because that that uh pom-pom elastic is in between there it sort of like helps that recovery a little bit better and gives you a tighter fit around the legs so that is my april showers uh, lady shorts bottoms just as a little extra thing to show you what she has available this month hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the bra builders april's kit and i will see you next time take care mm -hmm.